Hey everyone, what's going on? I'm AC and welcome to part 3 of my Buildcraft tutorial. Um, as I said in part 2, I'm going to start doing... It's raining. I'm going to start doing all of... Well, these last couple of Buildcraft tutorials will be on Just Machine. And I'll be doing them in sort of batches of two. In this episode, we'll be looking at the mining well, which is this one here. And the pump, which is this one here. Neither have interfaces, otherwise I'd have... I mean, look, right clicking and it's happening. But yeah, I'm jump straight into it. I'll get onto the mining well, which I've got over here. Um, and basically, it's like the quarry. Well, no. Right, first I'll explain what it does. Yeah, sorry. Wrong way around. So basically, the mining well obviously mines um, in a well sort of shape. It goes straight down underneath it, and that's pretty much it. It doesn't go side to side, any of that. It's It'll go straight down, once it hits the bottom it'll stop. It will go through bedrock, um, not bedrock, obsidian. It will go through everything except bedrock. Um, and we'll just spit it, it items out of the top like a quarry. Um, and again, like a quarry, stick a chest on top and you are fine. Um, or, like, pump the items out using pipes, put them somewhere else, up to you obviously. I'm not you, do what you want. Um, it will run off a steam engine, a single steam engine just like this. I'll show you. It won't be as fast as other things, but yeah. Um, and there, that's all that happens. It will take sort of the block that it's destroying and it will replace it with a mining pipe and put it straight in here or wherever you want it pumping out to. I should probably mention if my mining thing would work. You can pick these up. It will replace itself. You can see you get a mining pipe in your inventory. You go picking up some coal. Gonna go straight in there. But obviously the fastest thing, if you want it to move faster, you can using this. Obviously I've got a combustion engine. And look, that's noticeably faster. Is it? Oh god, that was going quite far. But yeah, noticeably faster. Um Stick a couple more combustion engines on that, it'll go even faster, as, as far as I'm aware, anyway. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the mining well. Um, I'm going to jump down here real quick, and I'll show you what goes through obsidian. If I can find some, there it is. I'll get rid of that. I'll just put some of that there. Come down. There you go. You can see it does pick up obsidian. So, I mean, you're pretty safe. Um, it's quite a good item to have early on before you can actually afford the quarry. Because, as you can see, when you're making it, six iron ingots, an iron gear, an iron pickaxe, which has to be full, it can't be used at all, and a piece of redstone. So, early game, before you can afford a quarry, a mining well's okay. I mean, obviously, the the downside is that it doesn't sort of move side to side or anything, it only goes straight down. So you have to move it yourself. As you can see here, uh, it's bedrock, that's it. Sort of finishes. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to the mining well. Um, it's quite useful. Uh, early game sort of item. But it is quite useful. Um, stop these and then I will move on to the pump and I'll show you what the pump does. Run over here. Well, no, I'll show you how to make it first. Basically, you make the pump using a mining well. You create a mining well and stick a tank above it. If you don't remember how to make a tank, it's just eight pieces of glass around the outside with a blank spot in the middle. And you get your tank, and then there you go. Combine them like that. I think you can combine them sort of anywhere as long as the tanks on above of them above the mining well. I mean, it can't be below or to the side or anything. It has to be above as long as it's like that you'll get your pump. I'll show you how to set one up. As you can see I've got a couple set up here but I'll show you those in a second because it will pick up pretty much any liquid. Um, so I'll put this down. And a bit of a hint, if you put it over an unlimited water source like this is here, uh, one block deep and either 2x2 two two or 3x3, three three, it will just refill itself and it'll give you unlimited water basically. As you can see there, 
this little sort of nozzle coming out, that's what's going to pick up the water. Well, in this case, water anyway. Now, four redstone engines will do this uh, just fine. It will perfectly supply it. Um, well, yeah, that's it. It will perfectly supply it. It'll be a bit slow at first, but um, once the engines sort of speed up a bit, now it'll obviously well, speed up. But four redstone engines would be just fine to use this. There you go, you can pump the water straight out of it like that. We'll just wait for it to actually grab some. That was sad. There you go. It's quite slow at the beginning, but there you go. And there's your water being pumped out. And as I said before, um, using an unlimited water source, we just sit here and watch. There you go, got rid of it, filled itself in straight away. So unlimited water using a pump, basically. Um, so yeah. But as I said before, it can pick up anything. So here's some lava, and these are all full, like full speed engines as well. So look how fast it's taking it away there. But again, lava's just a bit weird, isn't it? It's always been a bit weird with its source blocks and stuff. So is that it gone? Or I don't know. Lava's weird. But yeah, look how fast it cleared it out when there was four sort of full speed redstone engines. So. And again, I'll show you with this one, with oil as well, which I'll show you some oil in a second, like where you actually find it. I don't think I have in these tutorials yet. But yeah. I'll show you how fast it actually gets rid of it. Got a bit of a weird visual thing there. There you go. It's gone. Oil's gone. So yeah. That's uh, pretty much the pump. But it can have a sort of lasting effect on the environment, as I'll show you in a minute. First I'll show you the oil though, like actual oil springs, what well, they look like, I'm pretty sure that's one, yeah that's one. Now, they will. They don't always spawn in water, I mean they're on the land as well, but um, this was just the sort of closest one that I could find when I was looking around. Um, basically how high this is, uh, tells you how high tells you how much oil you're going to get out, how much oil you're going to pump out from this oil oil reserve I suppose you'd call it, I don't know. But this is only a small one, you can get medium ones that come up to about here-ish, and large ones come up even higher. Um, but yeah, basically, where the oil actually comes from, obviously you can take that from the top, but it's uh, down this hole, this is all filled with oil, and if we just drop all the way down, there was a spider spawner here earlier actually, I had to destroy it because Every time I came down, the spiders were having a go at me. There we go. We are getting to here. Now this one's a bit weird because I think it's run into a ravine or something. But um, it would normally just be a big sphere full of oil, as you can see in the walls. That's like the edge of the sphere. And that is there. That is there. That is there. So... This one isn't that big, as I said. This was only a small one, but they do get bigger and bigger, obviously. Mm. But yeah, that's an oil, obviously, oil, natural oil spring, sort of. I still don't know what to call it. Natural oil reserve, let's just call it that. But, as I said, it can have a lasting effect on your world, so be careful when you're using it. Like, if you're pumping water. Like, I have been here, as you can see. Wow, they're all full. <laughs> a lot of water. I was using combustion engines. I'm just gonna turn it to day again. It's really weird. I don't know how that keeps happening. But yeah. Um. Oh wow. I'm yeah, taking a big chunk out of it. Um. Yeah. Basically, a pump has a certain sort of area that it goes to. Obviously, this is the furthest it can go because, well, this is the furthest it's taken away from. So if we just follow it along, it sort of goes in a big circle next to the volcano here. Keeps going around. It sort of stops here, and that's sort of its radius. Basically, as it's taking water from inside there, obviously the water level's going to go down, but it can't take it from sort of around, so this happens. Um, and basically, it can get a bit laggy if you're on a slower running computer like I am. <laughs> obviously, as you can see, I'm lagging out a bit quite a lot, yeah, 
but um, obviously it doesn't look nice in your world either. Half of your water just like that. I don't know. I'm one of those people that get annoyed by water blocks that aren't still. Um, but yeah, so be careful if you're taking out of the sea like that. Well, big lava lakes underneath the ground as well. You want to be careful with those too because it does the same. But yeah, that that's the pump, and that was the mining world for that. Um, that's pretty much all there is to those two machines. And as I said before, uh, the next one will either be on these two together, which is the uh, the blueprint library, or right, the blueprint library and the template table. There we go. Assembly table. Sorry, I just assume it's called yeah, but yeah, assembly table and the blueprint library, or on the filler and the builder. I'm going to leave the laser and the assembly table to last because um, as far as I'm concerned they're, they're t these two are the most complicated so I'll get those last but uh yeah it's raining again why does it it's really quite annoying but um yeah that's all there is to these two machines anyway so um make sure you check out my other little craft tutorials and my industrial craft ones as well and make sure you check out the next one if you want to know how these machines work um it's going to be too off now anyway Done them. So yeah, the cheap one. Oh, stupid. So if you want to see how these machines work, uh, make sure to come check the next one. But yeah, I've been AC. Thank you for watching part three of my tutorials, and uh, I'll, I'll see you soon.